What is up guys? So I just made a video regarding a USB rubber ducky payload script. It was a Wi-Fi grabber and in order to actually use that payload you have to have a twin duck firmware flashed onto your USB rubber ducky and I thought I'd make a video explaining how to do that because it can be quite confusing if you don't know how to do it. If you're unfamiliar of the twin duck firmware, basically what it is is it allows your USB rubber ducky to act not only as a keyboard but as also a mass storage device. So it works as a USB and a keyboard. So you're able to save things straight onto your rubber ducky without having to use the SD card to USB adapter. As well, you're also able to save information gathered from attacks back onto your USB rubber duckies SD card. I'm going to try to make this video as quick and as easy as possible, but for this to be done, you want to have the file in the description downloaded, and this is what it looks like. It's going to be a zip file. So to start off, what you want to do is just extract this zip file anywhere you would like, and I'm just going to extract it to a folder in my desktop. So first things first, once you have this installed, you want to go over to the firmware folder, then go to the images, and you want to copy the c underscore duck underscore v2 dot one dot hex. You want to copy that file, go over to the flash folder, and there will be there's going to be two zip files here. There's going to be a duck programming um, file, and there's going to be a dfu underscore programmer programming zip file. So what you want to do is extract the duck programming file here. So it will look like this. And then once you are in this folder, you want to extract the atmul flip zip file. And you want to make sure that you have jre underscore flip underscore installer installed. So I already have that installed, so I'm not going to install that, but it's a pretty easy installation. It takes a couple seconds. So now all you want to do is paste the hex file that you've copied in this folder, and it will look like this once it's done. Before you do anything else, you want to put your rubber ducky in flash mode. And to do that, take your rubber ducky, hold the button on the rubber ducky, plug it into your computer while still holding on the button, and leave it plugged in for about five seconds. Now, once that is done, um, your rubber ducky should start flashing. I don't think mine did for some reason, but it should start flashing. Um, you want to go to your device manager. Once you're in the device manager, um, your rubber ducky will show up. It won't show up like mine because I actually have all the drivers installed correctly already, but yours will most likely be under a tab that says other devices or something along those lines and there's going to be a little yellow cautious, caution symbol above it. So what you want to do is click on your USB rubber ducky. Um, I'm not, I don't quite remember what yours will be called, but it'll be a series of random letters and numbers. Um, so you're going to right click on your rubber ducky, and mine just says ducky, so I'm going to go, here we go. You're going to want to right click on it, go to properties, update driver and then you want to search for this driver you want to search for the atmel flip signed driver folder right here you're gonna to go to your ducky you're gonna to go to update driver browse the computer for um, the atmel driver folder that I just showed you the one that you should have unzipped click that click next and then the drivers should be installed for it. Now from there, you want to go back to your USB rubber ducky master folder, um, and then you want to go into the flash folder. And then once you're in the flash folder, you want to go over to the duck programming folder, hold shift, right click on your mouse, and open command window here. And now what's, what, what that's going to do is it's going to open your command prompt in the directory of which you right clicked. From here, it's really simple. All you want to do is type program.bat space and then the name of the hex file that's in this directory. So C underscore duck underscore V2 dot one dot hex. All you're going to want to do is press enter. And I'm probably going to be getting error messages because I've already done this. 
um, I'm just showing you guys what to do so so you're just gonna want to press enter now if you do end up receiving this error where it says it could not find a DLL in my case it's at jnailsp.dll go to where you installed the um, JRE flip so I'm going to right click I'm gonna search flip and open file location you want to go to where you installed it and the DLL for it should be under where you installed the flip so I'm gonna copy the DLL and paste it inside the same directory where you pasted the hex file and then you will no longer receive that error but anyways yeah all you want to do is press enter and then once you press enter it's done and your rubber ducky should successfully have the twin duck firmware on it so that's it uh, once you've done that you're good to go if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below I'll try to respond to it as fast as possible if you guys enjoyed this video please like it and please subscribe check out some of my other content I'm gonna be posting more rubber ducky payload tutorials so stay tuned for that and also let's try to get to 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible that would be amazing see you next time